En af missionerne med projektet er, at vi skal være nyskabende på processerne. Og en af de vigtigste processer, det er valget af arkitekt og hele rådgiverteamet. Og der brugte vi en nyskabelse, der hedder en interviewkonkurrence, som min meddirektør og jeg havde mødt andre steder i verden, men som vi ikke havde set i Danmark før. Der var tre udenlandske og tre danske firmaer med i slutspurten. Der valgte vi arkitektfirmaet OMA, som har som ledende partner Rem Kohlhaas. First of all, for about OMA in general. So we are like a, a firm based in Rotterdam, like started in 75, uh, founded by uh, Rem Kohlhaas. Uh, we are now over uh, 400 people with several offices in New York and in Dubai, in uh, Beijing and here in Rotterdam. So our uh, approach, main, uh, most of the projects start here in uh, the Rotterdam office. And uh, actually every uh, project gets its own attention and its own specific approach. We don't have a specific fixed style, so it is really to uh, each project that we uh, have our own approach and we invest a lot of time actually in that to really put an OMA building for each uh, different site. The main interesting thing was that we uh, Of course, you relate to Copenhagen itself. And Copenhagen is uh, rather really, a really beautiful uh, city. And at the other hand, we came uh, in the winter and we also discovered it as a, as a uh, quite hard city in its expression. On the, along the waterfront is a very modernistic uh, way of, uh, of building. And what inspired us was to have there one of our buildings, which uh, had an, another expression, but still with the uh, Copenhagen language, with a much more of, uh, expressive uh, uh, representation. The special qualities that we uh, gave to the buildings is that we really Uh, contrary to a normal Danish building, where you have a, a square box and a main door as the entrance, we really try to drag the urban space into the building. So whenever you want to walk from the city to the water, you basically have you go through the building, and that is for us um, is for us. I think it's in Den in Copenhagen unique experience, and then to couple that with a uh, cultural institute like DSC. And uh, that together, I think, is uh, very important. Of course, the other special, unique thing for us is the mix of functions. Almost creating a city within a building. That, that is the second unique thing for us on this project. We have a situation where we have extremely mixed used uh, functions. We have uh, residential uh, functions, we have office functions, we have of course the museum, and we have uh, a restaurant in it, and we have uh, parking facilities in it. 
This is the most uh, mixed-used building we ever made, and which is in that sense a, a big challenge. Der hvor Kohlhaas i uh, min opfattelse er uh, blandt uh, uh, de tre bedste, hvis han ikke er den bedste i øjeblikket, det er på de her meget meget uh, komplicerede uh, ting, hvor et projekt skal spille sammen med omgivelserne i, i, i høj grad. Ikke bare øh, i bygningsvolumenet, i materialerne skal spille sammen med de bygninger, der ligger omkring, men også det liv, der skal leves i huset og omkring huset. Øh, der har de altså nogle meget, meget øh, stærke øh, kompetencer. No, it's not at all just another project. Actually, we never had this uh, the situation. And the only thing what I can say is that we that I hope that the project and how it is so far, with without too much compromises, but that we really can build this uh, this project. It would I think give a really a new a new um, not only from the outside a new feature to or an, an iconic building because I think we, we wouldn't really say it's, it's pure iconic but also from the inside it's a building which is for the city and for the city users for the people a new experience. Jeg synes man skal stræbe efter at uh, få indfriet infri alle de krav uh, som man stiller uh, som bygherre uh, til et uh, projekt. Og det er jo ikke sikkert, at man kan få 100 procent af det, man, man, man gerne vil. Men hvis man ikke stræber efter det, så får man i hvert fald ikke det bedst mulige ud af det. Så ambitionen er, at det skal være 100 procent. Så må vi se i 2013, når huset står der, hvor mange af ønskerne, vi så fik opfyldt. Mm.